Hello and welcome. Let's see what comes with the project. In tutorial folder we have learning video all links and project materials. In previews folder you will find a link to animated previews catalog of all scenes. The project folder contains all project files for DaVinci Resolve. Fonts folder contains a font link. You need to install fonts before using the project. In social branding folder we have illustrator layouts you can use for your YouTube channel. Let's go to openers and intros first. Go to folder and double click on the DRP project. It will copy the project to your DaVinci Resolve library and open it. Almost all openers and intros have placeholders clips, green color. All placeholder clips are grouped with folders in the media pool window on the left. Enable tab view for timelines for more convenient way to use this project. For example we will edit intro one scene, the way you edit scenes are the same for all openers and intros project, open placeholder clips with open in timeline or just drop it to the timeline tabs bar. Now I'll import few video clips. After import place videos inside of the placeholder clip. You can see a locked layer on the video one track, it shows how long the video, photo must be. The top layer is macro controls layer, select it to see all controls you can edit in the inspector window on the right. If placeholder is animated you will see media controls at first to adjust your media to fit perfectly. Also here are text and fonts controllers, colors and etc. Set lower timeline proxy quality for better preview speed of your work. Easy and fast way to create unique opener just for your content. Now we will look at the main part of the project. Open the DRFX file and hit install button in the open DaVinci Resolve window. Now I will create a new project. Go to project settings by clicking a gear icon on the bottom right corner. You can use the scenes in full HD and 4K projects. Originally it was created with 24 frames per second, you may use it with 25 or 30 FPS as well. Save this settings and create new timeline and media pool window. Now go to effects window on the right side and open titles section. You will see Easy Edit, YouTube Essential Library V6 with all scenes grouped by categories. All scenes have little preview icons, it helps to find scenes faster. To see animated preview of the scenes first hover titles with the mouse pointer. To import title you like just drop it to the timeline. You can edit the length of the title by drawing the layer end.
Select imported scene layer to see it controls in the inspector window. Controllers may be different depending on the type and complexity of the scene. Here you can see the icons selector for social media icons. Also edit text, styles, colors and layout of the elements. To add your media to macro scenes we need to use Fusion window. It is very simple. Import image to resolve. And click on the open in Fusion page button. You will see two connected nodes, the first is out title, second is technical out node, do not edit it. All we need to do is drop image from media pool to the node grid window. It will show the image as node as well, now connect image node out to title node in, grey box to yellow triangle. Now we can see photo in the placeholder, you may edit its size, position, rotation and etc. Go back to edit page using bottom bar to see the result. Stories scenes are designed for vertical resolution so we need to create a new timeline with proper settings. Use 1080 by 1920 pixels and 30 frames per second. Now you can import story scene and start edit it. There are 10 dynamic transitions included to the project. You can find it in transition section in effects window. Drop transition between two videos on the timeline. To place the transition right in the center, the videos must have a margin of length. You may edit it length and it works with any resolution in FPS settings. Edit color from the inspector window as well. Sticker scenes are grouped in folders as PNG sequences. To use stickers drop the folder with image sequences to timeline. It will import as single animation file. There are a few ways to use sound effects from the pack. You may drop sound as single files directly to timeline. You may drop sound as single files directly to timeline. Or you can add whole sound folder to resolve audio library. Now use search to find sound. Name starts e underscore 39 underscore. Thanks for watching.